Good evening. My name is Mrs. Parmer and I am one of the learning support teachers here at Kukalika High School. Um, the courses that I am involved in this year are, um, first of all, I'm pushing into biology courses and principles of technology. But the reason why you might be watching this video tonight is that I do in fact teach the functional science class. And what the functional science class looks like is um, it takes some of the core ideas of some of our regular ed science classes and it takes a, a closer look at some of the larger concepts. Um, we move at a much slower pace, making sure that the kids have, um, have the information concreted in their minds. Um, as far as curriculum overview and things that, um, that we focus on in this room, um, we normally start out the semester with the scientific method, which is just important to all science courses. Um, it, it kind of solidifies the making observations, a hypothesis, um, kind of setting up an experiment executing that experiment, and then collecting data and um, drawing a conclusion. All important um, skills for, um, for the science classes. Then we move on to the water cycle. Um, we focus a great deal of time on the water cycle. We look at um, how it works within our ecosystems. And then also looking at pollution, um, things that we might think are, are normal things to do on our own property, in our own communities, but might be adding to, um, to some of the pollution and how we can, we can minimize that in, in our community. Um, with that being said, then we move into freshwater ecosystems, um, your, your lakes, your ponds, your rivers, your streams. Um, the, the students learn about the initial um, source of water from from different groundwater sources. Um, we talk about public water, we talk about wells, um, sewers, how all of those systems work together in our community. Um, once we have finished up with fresh water, we move into salt water. Um, this I, I find is a really interesting time for the kids because they learn about a lot of organisms that live within the estuaries and um, a lot of the community that has the mixture of the fresh water and the salt water. We're lucky enough, we live in, in an area where the kids get to go to the beach or they're spending time in the creeks fishing or swimming. And, and I think it's important for them to understand um, how, how important it is for us to, to take care of those um, different ecosystems. Um, after that, we move into nutrition and um, we finish up the semester then with space exploration. So we go into planets. Um, we spend a lot of time on stars, um, different things like that. So the kids kind of get an idea from ground up um, just their surroundings. Uh, something that we added last year, which the kids really have enjoyed, we started doing a school garden. And um, last year we planted tomatoes, cucumbers, beans, peppers, um, and the students are able to harvest those. We took care of it over the summer and then throughout the fall now, um, We've worked with some of the other classes here in the high school that do some of the uh, food and menu items uh, throughout the fall. Uh, they've been using our tomatoes. They use the cucumbers in the beginning and, and the peppers and beans. Um, more recently, your students have been involved in planting of broccoli, cauliflower, turnips, and probably within the next two or three weeks, we'll start putting winter lettuce and kale in so we can continue to harvest those um, throughout the late fall. Um, all of these things are very important because 
at some point your student will be a homeowner or will have a property in which they can um, create their own gardens. And, and even now, we're, we're going to start moving into, as it gets colder and we're spending less and less time outside, some of those household plants. Um, the, the kids at one point will have the opportunity to take a plant, um, leaf, and then replant it and grow an entirely new plant, um, and then they'll be able to, to bring that home. Um, so again, things I think are really important for the kids that they, they really have, have been enjoying um, throughout this semester so far. As far as the class, we do, um, we do start every day with a warm-up journal. And essentially what it is, is a question that addresses whatever we did the day before. And it just kind of concretes um, some of the ideas and making sure that they're, they're bringing that information from one class to the next. Um, I do grade on classwork and notes. A lot of times we'll do a, a reading or a, a movie that has guided notes um, just to get additional information. Um, we, we oftentimes do labs. These also, you know, concrete the concepts because the kids, you know, the, the best way for them to learn is hands-on and, and the labs allow them to do that. And also projects, um, building some of those concepts and putting them together. The water cycle we build up through and then the different kind of precipitation and um, groundwater that happens throughout the, um, the cycle. And um, it kind of puts everything together and, and gives a, a good idea of whether they understand the concepts that have been presented. Um, my expectations in, in the classroom are pretty simple. Number one, I, I expect participation. And to be honest with you, I, I have not had any issues with kids not wanting to participate. And uh, so, so that's been a, a blessing in this marking period slash semester already. Um, Science is, is a idea in which you want students to ask questions. So I encourage the kids to ask questions whenever they feel like something isn't making sense or when they just want a little bit more information. So again, all the students have been really good about, about doing that. And then the last thing is giving effort. Um, as long as I'm seeing that they're engaged and that they they want to um, participate and they're giving that effort, um, th those are the, the big three expectations that I have for them. The normal would be continue to be respectful, uh, not talking out of turn, things like that. They kind of give the, the classroom some order. Um, so that is 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 my class in in a nutshell um, I do want to encourage you to reach out if you have any questions um, again I, I have wonderful things your your kids have been fantastic so far this year and I look forward to continuing into the winter late fall and winter months and uh, watching them them grow and hopefully their interest in science continuing to grow thank you and have a good evening